generic greetings and welcome back once again to prison architect where in the previous episode we built a whole another cell block cell block b and the associated shower we then had a little bit of a chop and change and also a couple of redos on this checkpoint system which is currently going out of the canteen but we are going to be changing that or at least attempting to in this episode and then finally we also built the cell block c or started to build it on the left hand side in terms of money we've recovered the well, recovered from the stall that we had in the previous episodes and we still don't have a, a bank loan that we can um, take out so if we go to grants you see a bank loan is zero and it won't increase so we may have to sort that one out but at this stage with the amount of prisoners that we're going to get and all that sort of thing it's pretty much all right in terms of staff one two three four five six more staff as well as one two three four five six extra dog handlers there and speaking of dog handlers it's been um point out that we should probably finish this off and I agree so let's go ahead and place the um, crates down there crates down there and then obviously dog balls will run up and then down there like that as well for the dogs actually well, should we place it just right in front of the uh, things yeah why not there we go and then we'll get that one sorted we also need to think about flooring because at the moment, well, it's uh, a bit barren, but obviously it also depends on money. But we'll see how we get on. In terms of needs for the prisoners, we'll double check the ones. We can see that there is a huge clothing need, so we do need to sort that out. I'm going to hire a couple more janitors because it is a bit dirty. And actually workers because those are the ones that really need to get on with a lot of these jobs as well so obviously spending money to make money is the name of the game we also need to uh, check our deployment because I haven't set up a patrol around here now normally well in these areas as well normally we would use a blue patrol for internal work and magenta for external for no other reason that it's just you know it's easy to remember and um, we'll assign that person there and then an arm guard there and then on the outside we would use the magenta but I'm going to use blue because we need to go all the way around this area and obviously we need to uh, make sure that we have no crossover on this part so that would be a dog handler there we go so we've got a dog handler going around there we're going to do the same thing on the uh, left hand side here because well, we need to do that, so we might as well, while we're doing this, crack on with that task. Assign a dog handler there. And we'll assign a, well, another blue patrol. We can assign it in the centre, even though it's not yet fully built. It doesn't matter. We can still assign people there. So a guard on that one, then an armed guard down there. And that should be that sorted. Sadly, we only have three armed guards, so I'm going to hire another two. Just because, obviously, you've got three patrolling, so you want to get the rest... Um, you know, you want to get the rest sorted and, you know, they're having a break or whatever in the staff room and that sort of thing. You see there's several of those on break. We've just received uh, 8 o'clock at night, I believe this is. Yeah, 8 p.m. our arrivals and we've got Nick... Uh, I thought it said Necromunda then. Um, <laughs> so this is Nivdi Nivi Nicromunda. So 022180 is there prisoner number they're actually quite tall uh, what's that six 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 something like that hmm uh pro program enthusiast spends his time reading science fiction novels and program a small program for his friends or his studies once a uh, he was sent to prison for hacking government and also a little bit of murder as you can clearly see there 98 years murder murder attempted to murder twice another bit of murder he really liked murder and perjury so that is almost death row level of prisoner that one to be honest with you and oh as we can clearly see one two three four five six unknown traits that could cause us some issues later on down the line but we'll see I'm going to max speed this out while they crack on with all of their usual tasks. We have, in terms of needs, more staff fulfilled. Staff need, there is some recreational needs, but it's only in the high area. And, oh, we've got a bit of fighting going on here. So that's a volatile prisoner. And looks like, yes, they are actually, this is Warren Mitchell fighting our guard there, who has managed to take out two of them straight away. I mean, that guy deserves a pay rise. Speaking of pay rise, we could i believe alter that where is the option for that it will be probably in policy no it is in somewhere where you can 
alter the amount of payment, I believe, for staff. You can see in terms of transfers, there's no uh, way they want to transfer. We're not enabling the currently insane inmates. We can transfer one legendary prisoner if we wanted to, but we've got enough on our hands. You know, the paint isn't even dry on the place yet, so we're not going to be altering that. So recreation, I think we do need to put some stuff in the staff room, because there is this recreational need, and we can see that. We have 18 staff happy, and two staff have serious complaints. Is it a... Mm, ah, it might be in micromanagement. I'll, I'll unlock that, and we'll see if... If that is the case. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to objects and we'll place some stuff in here to, you know, provide them with some entertainment. Uh, table tennis would, all of this stuff would be nice, a table tennis table, but quite frankly, the size of it would be problematic. But we can have sort of three sofas like that, although it doesn't seem to fit uh, that design. Instead, what we'll do is we will move this, move this chair to there. And then we'll have the TV up there, max speed that out, and then have... Oh, there's also arcade cabinets. We'll have a couple of those in as well. Oh, just one for now. And then sofa wide, no, normal sofas. One, two, three. That's all right. This one I will move and I'll place the... Well, place a water cooler in. Water cooler would be nice in that area there. Right at the back, we could place a, a arcade cabinet... Like, I really want to place it here so you can see it quite well. Go on then, I'll remove that. Place a, one of those in there at the back and then a radio in that corner. And that will hopefully fulfil those needs. And you can say, yes, recreational need is being fulfilled. And if we check that now, we can see that, yep, that's all being sorted now. And they're also playing on the arcade cabinet as well. <laughs> oh, I never really noticed that before. You hear the TV playing. It's only when you zoom right in that you really get that. Anyway, tunnel search tonight. All locations. I will also have to run the utilities, so let's do that. Now, obviously this goes up and round and that sort of thing. I'm probably going to run this round the back to there. And then connect that up like so. And oh, right, that's something that, to be honest, I did expect. Yeah, volatile snitch, ex law enforcement. We knew we knew that there was lots of traits, unknown traits, uh, throughout the entire area. So we're expecting something like that. Clothing need is being fulfilled because you can see that there's more janitors now to do the work and deliver all of these uniforms. So that's much better. It is. Day 37, 4 hours 19 minutes total playtime. Summer, 15 degrees C. Well, current weather is overcast, and you can tell that by the colour temperature, which does change. There you go, it's nice and sunny now, so it's it's uh, nice and warm there. We've also got some more people arrive. We'll just check those. We can see we've got Strong, Storkel, Storkel, Instigator, Storkel. Fine. Over here, another legendary prisoner there. Extremely strong, tough, fearless, and quick. Let's see if we can find that legend. Oh, extremely tough, extremely deadly, quick and skilled fighter. So that's three, three legendary prisoners. Scott Cadwell and Christopher Clark. Yep, that is fine then. Okay. Over to utilities. Large pipe. I'm going to run this large pipe up like so. And naturally, we then need to plumb all of this in. Because of the design of this, plumbing it in is actually... It's not a lot of work. Sorry, it is a lot of work. It's not strenuous work. It's not something that's like, oh god, you know, it's, a, it's like you're really taxing and you have to think about every little thing. It's just a lot to do. That's all it is. It's just a lot of steps for them to crack on with. And we have had some subsidence. Subsidence of the land has destroyed a section of our outer wall. You should have had it repaired immediately. And there you go. We've got some subsidence there. So this is a priority because we'll use a standard fence there. Uh, these prisoners may think of jumping over that because this is a way out. We are going to prioritize that. And there you go. And there's been some comments regarding the fence and how that I'm using the standard fence rather than the, the grass under fence. That's because we are going to 
remove all of this grass eventually anyway. This is going to be either sand or dirt or whatever. I'm tempted just to go with the base dirt across this area because that's what it would be. Even maybe to the edge here, we might even alter that. In fact, what we'll do, we'll have a little test. Let's go over to our flooring and then dirt and then R. Oh, because you can now build over here, that's going to cause us some issues. Um, I'll leave it for now then. <laughs> I'll leave it for now. We also have a, hel hel um, a helipad and a boat dock. Hmm. I was at some point thinking about changing this boat dock to have only prisoners come this way. But up here, this is where we have our deliveries. It's a possibility. Do I need to do it that way? I mean, we could. There's no reason why we couldn't, really. Let's... Go to fencing. Place a fence across there. In terms of doors, the staff door is going to go there. And in this area, we'll probably place a jail door. Yeah, we'll place a jail door there. And I want to place a jail door there. Actually, I don't think a jail door is really required. Staff doors would be fine. But we can use the staff fencing because obviously that's a thing. So we'll use that. Back over to walls. Fencing there. So that's this section. Should be changed. Oh, because I didn't change that. That's annoying. Let me just rotate that. Oops, I accidentally ordered a door. Demolish walls. Walls again. Fencing. Oh, I don't have a choice to rotate it. Oh, well, it's just going to have to be that. And we will have objects, boat dock, and a boat dock will go in here, like that, don't like that, there, that's better, yep, yeah. and then deliveries, all across here, like that. And that was an instant boat dock. But what we're going to do now is something that's only been recently made possible by the introduction of the uh, DLC. Logistics. Transport. So you can see, this is where you have your preferences. So you've got inbound deliveries, civilians, items, outbound items. We're going to have it so that this will not have civilians, not have prisoners. But it will have deliveries and items. Over here, we're turning off deliveries, and we're turning off outbound items. But we are allowing civilians and such. Now we could, actually you know what, I am going to have outbound outbound stuff, so exports and garbage. But all of our intake has to come from there. You can also see deliveries that from here, it's actually connecting to that and we don't want that. So I want to remove How do we remove these? No, that's removed. Right, let me check this. So, that's not right. That has to go there. Yeah. And... Why is that going to there? So that's there and there and there. That's fine. Also, prisoners. I supplied by that one. These deliveries, though, we're not having. So that one shouldn't be on. But there was not gonna, there's not going to be anything coming that way anyway. And then that. And technically that. Okay. Let's see if any of that worked. <laughs> it seems like I've messed something up. But there is our visit uh, there's our visitors coming along, which is fine. We don't have any new inmates, so we won't see if that functions. Let me just double check that again. Do another pass. Oh there we go. There is some garbage being put on the boat and that's now gone that way. 
and there's deliveries coming in from the supply boat. So the supply boat's now over there and not coming through there. And getting dropped there and then going into here. There, that seems to be working. Something seems off. <laughs> I've got a, got a feeling that I've, something I've messed up there, but we'll see how we get on. Anyway, we're going to go over to quick build and to cloning. And once again, we are going to clone this area here. Just rotate it right round and then place it in like so. I'm tempted to do the other one just because we have the cache and then we've we're sort of done with it. And there we, Oh, that's wrong. That's all kinds of wrong. And, uh, dearie me. Now we're just going to have to cancel all of that. Luckily, we did manage to do that. Um, back over to quick build. Cloning. I, um, I selected the wrong thing. Rotated that round. I actually placed it there rather than there. So we will finalise that. That is now going. We can see loads of people have come in. And they are happily eating. We need it looks like whatever the green stuff is they don't want you see that there's, lo <laughs> there's loads of that they're, they're not fussed on um, I'm gonna hire two more cooks and I think we need to probably get some more seating in I think so table there we go and then all the benches Four, five, six. While we're here, cookers on the other side. And actually, do you want them on the other side? We were going to perhaps put them on here. No, no, on the other side makes sense. And oh, there's an early prisoner release. We have released someone early. That potentially could be the very first person released early. One prisoner have been released. Yes, prison grading. Yeah, okay. In terms of temperature, oh, it's 21 degrees C, so it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, I know there was um, mention about putting these boilers inside here because they generate an ambient temperature. Um, yes, this was pointed out several times, um, and we didn't put them elsewhere because... What? Sorry, I'll finish what I was saying. I didn't put them in there because it's like, you know... Stuff that the prisoners should, shouldn't have ready access to, even though it shouldn't be a bit of a problem. And that is... Ah, that's why. Okay, fine. I was going to say, why are the prisoners allowed around here? But that's because of changes made somewhere? I don't know why that's been changed to not staff only, but I mean, that's, that's just how it is. Anyway, we've altered that. You can see that the delivery boat over here is working as intended, which is excellent over here we could probably change things up a little bit but it's all working pretty much fine there you go it's eat time but what's happening is they're coming in and they're sort of standing around there is certainly enough food for them assuming they're like bacon you understand but they are they are getting fed but let's just see how long this takes so this is bang on 11 o'clock and obviously they have to leave now some of them are managing to leave that way loads of them are leaving that way whoa see all that they're all leaving that way that's interesting there might be like a hard cap if like they can't go through that and there's no more slots then they're going to go out that way okay well i am going to make that change that i mentioned earlier uh, this one was a change i didn't expect to make but i think it's a uh, better one it means that the prisoners when they come in you know it's a bit better but this might change if we build something up the top there let's go over to these guys and check to see if any of them want to become confidential informants that is not none of them and let's also see if any of them still can't get a bank loan spiritual guidance two in the queue 25 finished zero percent passed brilliant that's a great pass rate we're going to stop the guard taser no interest in foundation or general education qualification and one for alcoholics group therapy and one for pharmacological treatment of drug addiction so basically there's very little call for um for reforming here anyway let's go ahead and go to objects dismantle all this now gets dismantled that gets dismantled and is that one? 
Potentially. I'll do that. And what we're going to do is open this up, change this design slightly. That's going to be rusty wall to there, rusty wall to there. We're going to demolish that wall there, demolish that wall there, and those two. Place in a rusty wall there and there. Is that about right? I think that's correct. And then open this up. And what we do oh, while well, we're here, um, deployment. Remove that. We don't want prisoner direction there. But we want prisoner direction in here. So they enter through here. Like that. However, we want them to leave top and bottom, like so. So they're currently entering the centre, which is exactly what we wanted. We're going to put in... I mean, we still need the sink and mirror. Which will, one will go there. And then... I mean, a hand dry would be nice, but I don't think we can afford that. Of course we can, but there you are. All that. Well, let's designate some of this to be weird shapes and not max sec. And you see they're leaving there and they're leaving through the bottom as well. That's all working then. That's that's what we wanted to see. Good. We're going to check out utilities then because there's some lighting issues in here that for some reason that's not so. Now, if I do that, that should fix the problem. We could have metal detectors on the way in, but quite frankly, I like the idea of you go through metal detectors and then you get searched. So, you know, there's very, very little chance of... And also, you've got the patrolling armed guard as well as the dogs going around here checking for smelly stuff too. So, you know, it's uh, pretty good, that one. Pretty good on that front. Anyway, I don't know why they're not doing this. So, no prisoners signed with this canteen. That's because... Ah, oh, these are all separate canteens. Right, okay, canteens, so we'll remove that canteen, and then extend it, and do the same thing on this side, and then extend it, and then there as well, and then remove that section, and that should all be fine, and that light is still not in, that's because they haven't placed it, what else are they building, oh they've still got a list to build, fair enough, lock open, and there's a Death, hang on, lock open. Volatile prisoner. Oh, interesting. They must have just kicked off and sadly, you know, these guys have had none of it. And Rutledge is currently punching, yeah, Dan to death and that's actually what's happened there. It is high risk. And there's probably not much we can really do about that other than post guards everywhere, which we don't have the resources to. And it would be boring if we did, quite frankly. You know, necessity, the mother of invention and all that. Anyway. Patrols in there, patrols in there, patrols in there. All the way around the outside. That's good. We will turn off guard response because that's how sorted you can see they're all charging through the center there and it seems that they, it doesn't seem that there's enough food why are the guards sorry why are they why is there just not enough food look at that needs there is oh not much there is some food needs quite a high amount of food need but they're still cooking it I Mustn't have enough cooks then. All these are still cooking on the stove, aren't they? There's no food coming in. I did mess up the logistics. So, food comes in there, in there. 
food distribution is all distributed as it should be, yes. But deliveries is wrong. Remove that, remove that, remove the lot. Okay, that won't remove. Well, there's a solution to that too. There we go, okay. <laughs> so we'll redo storage. And then we'll check out our deliveries. So from here, this is prisoners. So prisoners come from here to deliveries. You have to force it the other way. Exports and garbage can go that way, but garbage can also go that way. That's fine. Deliveries here, but it's going that way. I thought it would be that. And prisoners. See, it's flowing the wrong way. No, yeah. not having any of it. So where's all the food? Or is it just a matter of there's not enough? We haven't got any food because I've been building so much. So we've got this backlog. It is possible that we simply don't have that stuff. Okay, what I'm going to do then is temporarily re-enable inbound deliveries. And there's even more. I think that might be what it was. Because we've got drains and stuff to place. And, you know, because we're building both these showers. And there's all, there's food. That's staff food, though. But there's also food for... There's all the food, yeah. I think that's what it was. A combination of me changing the... Logistics. But also, there just wasn't any food to cook. That's why there wasn't food here. So, well, we now know. Again... Interesting. And, you know, like to show the working. Have no problem at all showing mistakes being made. That's the point. Three unknown traits, one strong. One, two, three, four, five legendary prisoners, I believe. Which will eventually, if we do it anyway, go on to a supermax and death row wing. Oh, look at that, the left straight through there. See, that they are what they are going out through this. So, some of it is being ignored. Uh, what I'm looking for. Supply of narcotics and luxuries is quite high. We haven't done a full shakedown in quite some time either. Uh, it looks like this is now sorted, which is good. We need to obviously put all the plumbing in. But I'll wait for them to finish both sides first. Lots of people in here as well. None of them... I don't believe. Nope. Want to become confidential informants. Not that they really do us any good because we can't even talk to them <laughs> to sort that out there. Over to utilities then and the large pipe which will now run... Well, I'm going to run it across to there and then across to there. And we'll crack on with this. And that'll be all the showers in the facility done. That's one. And two. And then it's the hot water. Now, hot water. How are we going to run this? Up there. It would be across and then similar affair. I said it's not a, a hard task to do this, but it is quite an effort for the for the workers. It's just a lot of steps. You know, there's 14 steps, 16, 18, 20, just for that section there. So 40 steps just for this little section there, plus all this. It's a it's a huge amount of labour for them to uh, do all that. Looks like food is being delivered, which I'm very happy about. Food, there was a critical need. There still is a critical need. There is no longer a critical need. And people are leaving. Some are leaving through the centre there. 
but most are leaving there. And again, it's about an hour to do that. Right, shake down all areas, all 287 places that we need to need to search there. Uh, cracking on with that. We're finding some booze, cell phones, pocket watches, syringes. Naturally, if we go over to the last 24 hours, you can see loads of cell phones that's taken... I mean, that's had a, that's had a big journey, hasn't it? <laughs> that's a big journey for some cell phones. That was smuggled in, smuggled in, smuggled in. Uh, th thrown in and smuggled. Yeah, a lot of it. I mean, some of these were brought in. Maybe a contraband scanner? Maybe it's worth putting that back in? Let us... Let us try. Scanner monitor will go in here. Scanner machine. I mean, everything has to... No, everything doesn't have to go to storage. I'll place that there. I think that'll work in this deliveries. But we'll see. Because all of the... Oh, we need to connect that up as well. Because remember, all of the exports, we don't need to search. Don't care about the exports. You know, there could be anything in that, contraband-wise, and we don't care. It's not our problem anymore. It's going out. That's a bit of a weird one. We've got that all there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we don't really care about the stuff going out. That's not really of any great concern to us. However, the stuff coming in, we do want to search. But this is the only place where we have stuff coming in for, uh, that we need to search. Obviously, the people that come through here, the visitors and the, well, the visitors don't get searched, but they do have a metal detector there, so that's fine. Not that they even set it off, I don't think. And they can't smuggle things through here anyway, so that's all secure. There's no problem with that. Oh, and the game lagged out a little bit there. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, we need to search in uh, this area here, and that is apparently a tunnel. The first sighting, potentially, of a tunnel that we have had. But, yeah, we'll have to see. There's an early prisoner release, which is good. Let's just check our grading. That's eight prisoners being released early now, so almost at the point where we'll get a grading. So we'll see what happens there. In terms of the electrical cable, we also need to run some electrical cables in here just to light the area up, and we'll do that like so. That should be more than sufficient. Uh, here is some cable drums, and they are being taken directly to where they need to. I think it's only crates that are going to get searched. And I don't even know if having the scanner machine there will work. I don't know if you have to put it in storage. We can always move it if that's going to be a problem. Ah, oh, here we go. So these sh these should be searched. So move ingredients to deliveries. Actually, what's happening is they are dumping them there, yes. And now the mayor's calling. And they are actually going through the scanner. See that going through the scanner? Into another facility's highlight potential issues with security checks when it comes to family visitation in prisons. Until the process can be properly reviewed, all visitation must be suspended. You have 12 hours to remove all visitation rooms for your prison. Okay, we will go ahead and comply. So we'll say visitation like that. And sadly, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll let them crack on and we'll give it 12 hours. So it looks like that stuff was searched there, which is good. And, right, remove that. That's now compliant. Okay, so, not a problem. That's in, that's been changed. That stuff has been dropped there, then goes through the scanner. That one didn't get scanned, though. I don't know if you saw that. It didn't get scanned. But it also doesn't go, it doesn't have access to, uh, there's no access to the prisoners for it, so it's not too much of a problem. It's just the principle of the thing. There is a someone unconscious and that volatile prisoner's just kicked off again. Hmm. In terms of our programs, n no one's bothered in spiritual... Oh no, people are in on spiritual guidance there. That's fine. Nobody's interested in the foundation education or general education qualification. Behavioural therapy 12 in the queue though. There is some interest in that. Strangely. Hmm. Anyway, I think we will leave it there for for now. Why is that radiator not connected up? What's happened? Did I just not run that there? 
I just didn't run that there. Yeah, so I think we will leave it there for this episode. Happy with the option for changing these both docks and such. I guess, yes, it, it didn't really occur to me that in the previous, on a standard game without an island, you could have loads of stuff come in and it would just sit on the road all the way across. As soon as it's packed up, you could unload it. It's not a problem. Whereas in this, the boat has to dock, move up, unload, then leave. You can't have other ones coming in, which is why we had that shortage around here. Either way, next episode, we will crack on. We are probably going to look at another cell block, perhaps. However, I'm not entirely convinced it is necessary yet. we also got these buildings up here. Basically, what we're going to have to do is have a bit of a pass through all of this to see what we haven't got, what we may need, what we think we will benefit from, and that sort of thing. More flooring. Well, some flooring will be nice. You get the idea. Either way, we will call it there. And next episode, as I said, we will crack on. As always, if you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.